All right, I'm going to do a quick walk around of this Mongoose Model 123 Van Pack Jetter. As you can see, it's been freshly installed into this Nissan NV3500 van. But with the compact style of this, this jet, uh, it'll literally fit in just about any service style van on the market today. It's three feet three inches wide, four feet tall, five and a half feet deep. And it's uh, handcrafted out of Dixon, Illinois by Sewer Equipment Company. And one of the things I really enjoyed at the wet show this year, you know, people would come around and they would be comparing, say they want to look at a, a jetter they can put in their van. The first thing I'd tell them to do is grab a hold of this frame and just yank on it, see if you can move it around. And they were just blown away by the heavy duty build uh, of this equipment. So when you're looking at return on investment, something that's going to last you a lifetime versus something that may potentially be uh, disposable last three to five years, um, there's really no comparison. So we look at the power system here. You've got your gas-powered Kohler 25 horsepower Command Pro engine. Of course, the fuel cell's right next to it. And this jetter is controlled two different ways. You've got your NEMA 4 uh, weatherproof control panel, which has all the controls on it, your pump, your throttle, uh, hose reel in, and then of course your toggle, toggle to tell whether you're going to work from dash or remote, and then your kill switch. Or you can control this jet from the best remote control system in the industry. Now this remote, it's got a range of about a half a mile. And why that's important is because you can go into a commercial setting, a basement, a sub-basement, whatever, and not have to worry about losing communication with your jetter. So you're always in control. It's got that safety kill switch on it, so you can completely shut this jetter down at the touch of a button. 250 feet of 3 8 hose. And like I said, it's got power rewind. You can see the uh, electric motor there on the side of the hose reel. It's got a recirculation system, which uh, is shared by the return to antifreeze tank valve, which means if you winterize this jet, uh, you can blow antifreeze through it, winterize it in about 90 seconds. When it's time to go back to jetting, you just switch that valve there, use the water in the tank to push that antifreeze back to the antifreeze reservoir tank so that you're not wasting 10 gallons of antifreeze every time you winterize your jet. It also has a backup winterization for long-term storage or for some reason you're not able to winterize it with antifreeze, you can pop that Schrader valve quick connect in there, blow this thing completely dry of air. You see you got your garden hose fill system there, so if you happen to be filling up your jet while you're jetting, you got your hose back here, that's your overflow system. So. Um, you forget that the garden hose is running while you're jetting. No worries, you're not going to flood your van. It just goes out that tube and out the outside. That's a mini hose reel. Okay, so this jetter also has a very flow valve built into it. It works as a diverter and it controls how much water goes to your main water hose. So if you are using one of those mini hose reels, an eighth or a quarter inch hose, you can get your proper flow, still get your full 4,000 PSI and not overpressurize your U-door 12 gallon a minute pump, which also has a pulsation valve on it as well. I'm gonna hop up here real quick. Speaking of overpressurizing, that is our spring-loaded overpressure valve. No disc to change. If you happen to overpressurize, that valve engages, sends a little water back to the tank, and you continue to jet. As you can see, this 200 gallon water tank is super thick. It's about a half inch thick Duraproline, really heavy duty stuff. Sight gauge for your antifree system. Each one of these units also comes with a Warthog root cutting nozzle, the service kit, a couple of penetrator nozzles up there that are attached to the uh, nozzle rack. And I don't know if you can see it or not. There's your exhaust out the bottom. So when this motor's running inside your van, you don't have to worry about it filling your van up with fumes. It's all being exhausted to the outside. Safe, durable sewer equipment. Mongoose 123 van pack, guys.